A Boy Scout trip takes a terrifying turn after a boy from Indiana is nearly strangled to death at a West Michigan ski resort. News Channel 3's Jessica Harthorn talked to his family tonight about what happened. She is live for us at Bronson Hospital where the 12-year-old is recovering. Jess. Kate, the family tells us that they're optimistic he will be able to go home tomorrow, but the road to recovery is going to be a long one. The family of 12-year-old Samuel Root tells us it was his first time skiing on Saturday. He was with his Boy Scout troop at Bittersweet Ski Resort when the unthinkable happened. His scarf became entangled in the tow rope that was pulling him up, and it ended up lifting him up, and he was dangling, and the tow rope stopped for a moment and that's when they realized this was all going on so they weren't even sure how long he'd been without oxygen or how long he'd been hanging and they cut him down immediately started doing CPR he was pulseless. Samuel's aunt says he was revived after five minutes and then rushed to Bronson Hospital in Kalamazoo but the severe brain injury had already put him into a coma. Then at 4.30 Sunday morning, his family says he suddenly woke up and started talking to his mother. He turned to her and he said, I love you, Mommy. So it was awesome. <laughs> and I'm sure every my friends that I've talked to who keep calling and asking, they said that they were in tears and I was tearing up. Samuel's family tells us Bittersweet is investigating this accident. Next to the tow rope are signs warning against the dangers of loose clothing. But today, the rope was not moving, and management was not commenting. However, parents who ski there regularly with their children are now taking extra precautions. Like She has a neck warmer on here instead of a scarf. Um, if you have one of the season passes on a lanyard, making sure it's a breakaway. Samuel's family says his recovery so far is nothing short of a miracle. It has been a long 24-plus hours, and we've been inundated by love and texts and calls and feeling very blessed. And now a GoFundMe page has been set up to help cover Samuel's medical expenses. The family says whatever's left over, the Boy Scout troop will cover. Reporting live from Kalamazoo, Jessica Harthorn, News Channel 3.